Hello, welcome to this video on dining room vocabulary. In the dining room, there is usually a dinner table. This is the place where the family usually eats dinner. If you have soup for dinner or cereal or for breakfast, you will eat it out of a bowl. If you eat soup, you will use a soup spoon, which is rounder and deeper than a dessert spoon. A soup bowl is sometimes deeper than a cereal bowl. When you eat dinner, you eat your food off a plate. The table might have a big salad bowl in the middle that you can take salad from. If you eat a lot of bread, your table will probably have a bread basket and you might probably also have a butter dish which is a little plate especially for the butter. A butter knife is a knife that doesn't have a serrated edge, while a steak knife is sharper and does have teeth. Most of the time, the table has just a knife to cut the food and fork to pick it up and put it in your mouth. A cup is what you drink tea or coffee out of, but a mug is bigger, heavier cup. In the morning, the part of the coffee machine that contains the liquid is the coffee pot and the teapot is the pot that you brew the tea in. You use a little spoon called a teaspoon for putting sugar in your coffee or tea. You will get the sugar from the sugar bowl. When you drink tea, you might use a saucer which is a little plate that goes with your tea cup. Sometimes in the morning you just have a glass of juice and some families have also a large jug or a pitcher of juice on the table because a jug holds more liquid. For afternoon tea you might have a cake on a cake stand which is a raised flat plate that you put the cake on. Sometimes people use a small plate called a side dish for the cake. Usually there is always a little piece of paper called a napkin so you can wipe your mouth after you eat the cake or other food. Cutlery is a generic term for spoons, forks and knives and a placemat is the piece of material you put on the table under your plates and cutlery to protect the tablecloth that covers the table. But for putting under your glass, cup or mug, you use a coaster, not a placemat. The silverware doesn't have to be made of silver, but it includes the candlestick and sometimes the cutlery too. For a romantic dinner, you will usually use candles to have a little bit of light, or you might have a chandelier, the big old style lights that hang from the ceiling. Before you sit down, make sure the pepper shaker and the salt shaker are both on the table. If you like flowers, the centerpiece of the table might be a vase of flowers in the middle of the table. In an expensive restaurant, the waiter may use a little cart with wheels called a serving cart to bring your food to the table. You probably use a serving platter at home, which is a big platter to carry a few different types of food on it, maybe in bowls or on plates or if at a party, it might be food for eating with your fingers. You might be surprised that we sometimes have China on the table. China is not just a country. China or China ware is also the name we use for the porcelain. Most people don't use it every day. Instead, they keep it in the China cabinet. The buffet is where we keep all the cuisines together with cups and plates. Finally, before you ask people to come to the table, make sure there is a chair for each person to sit on. Thank you for watching this video. Keep watching more English vocabulary videos and don't forget to subscribe to my channel.